Hey folks, this is Samson and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to have really clear and good audio. But you're probably thinking to yourself, what are you talking about? Your audio sounds like utter garbage. Well, let me get into the nitty grittiness of it all and I'll tell you how you can have good audio. So, two applications that I utilize for having better and cleaner audio when recording through my microphone is the NVIDIA RTX Voice. It is a just two-part application. You have your drop-down arrows for input and output, and then you have the noise reduction for input and output. Now, I have this. This is my microphone. It's the Samson Meteor Mic. Because come on, I had to have one with my name on it. Why couldn't I? I couldn't not. It's just too. It's too cool. Didn't even know I had a brand out there. Apparently, I do. I'm still waiting for my royalties, but it hasn't happened yet. Now, when I check this box, listen to the magic. If I actually can hit it. Now, you hear that? You hear how much better that sounds? It's still too loud, but doesn't that sound just a, a thousand times better? I sure think so. But next, I need to go into the actual physical sound settings of the computer. So you open your little cog, you go into sound, you scroll down into your input, and you find your actual microphone. Look at mine, Samson Meteor Mic. It is cranked up to 100%. That is too much. That is too hot. The sound is too much. It's not good. So crank it down to probably 50%. Let's just make it an even in between the two different audios. I have actually found that 69, right? Get it? That is a good one to have. That's fine. It sounds good. It sounds clean. But just for the sake of this demonstration, I will do 50. And then let me put it back on voice meter output. Speaking of voice meter output, the next thing that you need to mess with that is a very nice program and sound mixer is voice meter banana. Voice meter banana is... It's great. I love it. It's, it's, it saves me a lot of time on having to mess with audio in either Streamlabs OBS or straight up OBS or other applications that I do recording with. This gives my, this gives the computer or this gives this application full control over the computer and all audio components. So I have my separate channels here dedicated to separate things. This one is my microphone. The next one after that is my game audio for when I do uh, Streamlabs on Twitch. So this is my graphics card that is attached to my Xbox. And lastly, I have Discord. So when I'm in chats with people on Discord, the audio, their output audio comes through this. Now, quick instructions on how to use it. Quick, easy, simple instructions. Again, I have the microphone dedicated to, oh, this is important by the way. Since I am using NVIDIA RTX voice to do the noise reduction, under the drop down arrow for your microphone you must select where it says microphone NVIDIA RTX instead of the microphone Samson Meteor Mic, the one that I use. You don't want the raw Meteor Mic anymore. You want the NVIDIA RTX. That way, my microphone feeds through NVIDIA RTX, which in turn feeds through Voice Meter Banana. And Voice Meter Banana now has full control over my microphone. And as you can see here, the levels are going up and down as I'm speaking. I have the A1 clicked off and I'll tell you why. I'm about to drive myself insane. When I select it, I can hear myself. There's a little bit of a delay because I'm using Bluetooth earbuds and that's just how it naturally works. There's no just full on latent, zero latency with earbuds. So I, that's how I monitor the audio across the board. A1 is how you listen to whatever you're listening to. And since it's driving me nuts, I just, I have to turn that off now. That is where I can hear myself. And from what, I just, what I just heard, it was really good. It sounded good, it sounded clear, it sounded great. So that is how you listen to things across the board. So here's my microphone, that's how you can test and listen to yourself to make sure you sound okay. This one is my video game, the capture card for my video games. Click that on and off. That's how you can hear and not hear it. Same goes for Discord. Here, not here. I'm not using Discord, so it's off. Now for B1, B1 across the board is where you capture the audio. Now you're hearing me right now. I'm going to click it and unclick it and you'll hear. So I'm talking. Right? You, you couldn't hear anything as I was talking. It was gone. But now it's back. So that's how you do and do not capture audio. 
where that's that's where you can mute and unmute your microphone if you don't have what I have. I have a little button on the front of my microphone, so I can just quickly boom, boom. But there is that option there. And now here is the slider for the actual gain. So now I'm louder, right? I'm louder. I'm a lot louder. And then I crank it way down. I can get lots of gain and gain, right? I right click, hit zero, enter. And now I'm back to neutral again. Lastly, this little orange square. What this does, and this is the best place. You see I have it over here for my microphone, and I have it over here for Discord. I don't need to do that for my video games. I actually don't need it as low as I have it right there. I, um, that's not necessary. But as I'm talking right now, let me scroll over this way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it sound so much? With the, oh, my God, it sounds even worse way up here. No, you don't want that. You want to put that pretty much almost all the way to the left and halfway in between this line and the bottom of this entire square. That'll give you some bass to your voice. It just it's, it makes it sound better, and it's, it actually makes you sound more natural, like your actual natural voice. Because if it's right in the middle, it's very muttered and muted, and it, just, it doesn't sound as good as it could. And then you do have your noise gate here. So when I click it and then I push up on the mouse, I had to learn how to do it. You can, it's not like where you go around. You going around doesn't do anything. It's you click and you go up and down, up and down. So noise gate, I like to keep that at 1.0. So basically what that does is when I stop talking, all noise stops. The noise reduction does that, but this enhances it just a little bit further. And lastly, this one over here, voice meter aux, if I'm not mistaken, this is your actual computer audio. This is where if you're playing something from YouTube, Twitch, um, iTunes, just anything music wise, this your computer, this is where this comes through. So that's where you can adjust the volume up and down there. And then you have your master controls over here. As you can see right here, this is my microphone, I guess. It's uh, going up and down as I'm talking. Um, oh, one more thing. A1 up here in the corner. A1, here are your different selections for monitoring. I got my earbud in, so I have my headphone EKSA GT1 selected. Pause for that. So that's how you can dedicate where your audio is going to come out of. And, oh, I keep coming up with, oh, another important thing. Voice meter banana has to be running in the background at all times. You can't open this, set all this stuff up, and then exit out. You have to minimize so that it's down here running. I have it down here on my dashboard. It's just always on. But you can pull it back up quickly. Boom, boom. You have to have it running in the background because you have given voice meter banana full control over your computer. You've given it full control over your audio on your computer. And the way that you do that, once you have this downloaded and set up the way you want to, you got to go into your sound settings. So here's the sound settings from when I was messing with it before. For your output, you got to select voice meter input. Makes sense, right? Yeah, clearly. And then for input, guess what you got to do? <laughs> oh, that's right. You got to select output. And that is how you give the computer full control or that's how you get voice meter full control over your computer and your audio elements. And as far as the downloads for both of these two applications, NVIDIA RTX Voice and Voice Meter Banana, when you go to, uh, no, not that. When you go to Google, type in RTX Voice, click on the first thing that shows up, and it gives you some, it tells you there's a new version of RTX Voice available in NVIDIA Broadcast. That didn't work for me because I don't have the exact driver that it wants me to have through NVIDIA. Oh, there's another important thing. I am assuming you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card in your computer for this to actually work. Otherwise, I don't think you can download this application. But other, otherwise, RTX Voice is now enabled, blah, 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 blah. Just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to get to Setup Guide. And under Setup Guide, you have the word download the app. It's not the first one here. It's the second one. Download NVIDIA GeForce. Blah, 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 blah. Download for RTX. So that's the one that you click. Voice meter banana. Just type that into Google and you have all your different options. I like voice meter banana. It's the one where you have three channels. They have just voice meter, which is a lot more simplistic. That's a little too simple for me, honestly. It's, it's, it, it's not... 
It's not good enough for my needs. And then you have voice meter potato. If you think you can master this thing, look at all the different channels that you can do and all the different things you can do. And holy, just look at all that. For me, banana's fine. Just scroll down, click the download, and do everything that I just told you to get it set up for your computer. But yeah, there it is. Uh, that is my tutorial on how to have really good, nice audio that's clean and also how to control it a little bit more professionally than just the simple computer settings that you have. Like in the settings, you have sound and you can just collect or select headphones for your outputs and then scroll down here, microphone, and then bleh. it's just, uh, that's too simple. And that the computer it's i swear this is so much better just having full control over separate channels dedicating separate programs to separate channels in voice meter banana it's great it's perfect and it works for me just like i've showed you for the past 10 minutes all right i guess that is all i have to yammer on and blabber about uh i guess the last thing i'll tell you about is my microphone itself the samson meteor mic that i mentioned is $30, it's stainless steel, it has a button on the front, which I'm gonna talk and press it now, so I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm still talking. So you press that on and off, and that's how you can mute and unmute your microphone. It's great, it works perfect for me. And I love that, I don't actually have to go into the program on the computer and mute and unmute myself. I can mute it and unmute it as I please. $30 on Amazon, It's it's done me a lot of good for many years. I had to get a new one recently because I accidentally crimped the cord on the back of mine and uh, yeah, did something stupid and shattered the USB port on the back. It was dumb. But that is my favorite little mic, $30 on Amazon, stainless steel. It has a very uh, voice uh, announcer look sounding, like from the 50s, like a, a 50s racehorse announcer look to it. It's the bottom of the ninth and we have a crusty lip coming up behind gimpy leg. This, yeah, you get the picture. Okay. That's it again. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope this helps some of y'all out with your audio issues or audio uh, troubleshooting that, or just audio enhancements, anything audio-wise. Yeah, did I say audio yet? All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is Samson saying, sayonara.